Levy. You are in your early 20s. You are a singer, a songwriter, musician. You play piano, guitar. You are a p producer. <laughs> you have your own radio show. What is your favorite job? My favorite job? I think my favorite job is being a performer, like going on stage and singing. Mm -hmm. And what are you feeling right now? I am I'm very excited. My album comes out in two days from today. Um, and it's my first album. So a lot of new feelings and a lot of things I've never done before. But I'm I'm just excited. I'm happy to be in Berlin. I've never been here before, so okay. I'm really enjoying it. It's your first time? It is, yes. And your first day today? Yes, it is. <laughs> I've been <laughs> I've been running around and, and um and enjoying. It's very fun. And I have heard um in the evening today you stay on the stage? Yes, I think I'm doing a little showcase um at a studio um over at sony and yeah it's gonna be fun <laughs> i get to perform which is my favorite thing <laughs> okay um your grandparents were music teachers your mother is musician and uh, you started playing the piano and the cello at the early age um was there an alternative to being a musician for you I think yes, there actually was. I, I, I mean, I grew up around musicians and I grew up playing music, but it was almost so natural to me to play an instrument that I didn't even think of it as a career. It almost felt, especially when I was younger, it felt almost like another class at school. You know, you go to school and you take math class and English class, and then when I come home, you take you know piano or cello, and I didn't really believe in myself enough that it would be like a job you know um until like two three years ago when i was like okay i'm gonna give it a try and here i am i'm happy it feels very natural because now i get to talk to my mom and my grandma and we're all just crazy musicians mm -hmm. you started with the classical music yes yeah i um, played classical music my entire life mm -hmm. And how did you get into jazz? Was there a specific trigger or experience? Or Yeah, well, I my father loves jazz music. So he's not a musician, but he loves jazz and had like a lot of jazz records and would um, play that music growing up. So that's like what I would hear as a child. And also I watched a lot of movies from like american movies from like the 40s and the 50s that mm -hmm. had all these jazz songs in them like singing in the rain and sound of music and, and and movies like that and um it kind of seemed like a world between classical music and contemporary music that felt very magical and and i really loved it what is the appeal of jazz for you the appeal Yeah, what I, what uh, defines jazz? Defines jazz. I like how free jazz is in the way that every or I mean, this applies to just contemporary music in general, as opposed to classical. I like how um, every time you play it, it's different. You know, you uh -huh. can almost decide on stage how you want to do it differently. Um, and then I also think jazz music there's um, the harmony is so colorful there's so many beautiful chords and harmonies and also fun lyrics um, that are not too serious that I like uh -huh. um, your debut album will be released on August 26th and uh, how long did you work on the album um, do you I know what was the first song Yeah, I think the first song that made it onto the album that I wrote was probably a, a song called Beautiful Stranger. Uh -huh. I wrote it when I was living in London uh -huh. um, almost two years ago now. And I saw a really handsome stranger, a handsome boy on like on the tube. And I was like, 
I went home and really was sad that I didn't say anything to him. So I wrote this song instead. But the album, the whole album process, I recorded all the songs pretty much from January to March 2022. Mm -hmm. So this year. Um, But the songs I started writing during lockdown when I was just stuck in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And um, on your album, we can hear your mother and your sister. Yes. Yeah. My my mother and my twin sister are both violinists. And I have a lot of string instruments and kind of classical inspirations in my album. So I thought it would be so fun to have them play on it. And on the song, Everything I Know About Love, um, we play a, a string quartet, this Bach piece. Uh -huh. um, it's air in G, and that's um, that was one of my grandfather, who's passed now, one of his favorite pieces, and we played it in his memorial concert. So I thought it would be really special to have that in my album, just kind of to pay tribute to him and for giving me music, you know. How can we imagine the songwriting process? The and and uh, what comes first, the, the lyrics or uh, you write a melody, you have a melody in your ear? What? Uh, well, it's, it? it's a little different every time, but I would say the one um, thing that always happens is I have like an idea of what I want to write about. So it will usually be like a title or... Um, or like a little lyric kind of sentence that I want to say. And then sometimes I'll have a little melody idea, but mostly it's just an idea of what I want to say. And then I'll get a guitar or sit by a piano and then everything kind of comes at once, lyrics and melody and chords. Mm -hmm. I have written uh, that you have famous fans like Billie Eilish. <laughs> uh, what does it do to you? Um, I th I've, it's very validating. It's obviously very, very cool to be uh, recognized by somebody who's gained a lot of fame. Um, I think for me, especially, a lot of these artists are pop artists or sing music that isn't very similar to jazz or classical um, or similar to mine. So to have these people who've, you know, gained so much fame for pop music still enjoy my music or my interpretations really means a lot you are going on tour in a few weeks you will come back to germany i will yeah and I what can the fans uh, expect what can the fans expect come you al alone or with band or with, with orchestra <laughs> with orchestra <laughs> well hopefully one day with orchestra but um I, oh my God, it would be such a dream to play with the Berlin Phil. You have the best orchestras in Germany. But um, I'm playing with a band, um, small band. There's three of us and they can expect just, I think, a good cozy vibe and and a story. I think it's a, it's a lot of storytelling. I'm telling the story of my life. Okay. Through song. This was my last question. Thank you. Oh, thank um, you so much. Yeah. Good luck for the album and for the tour. Oh, thank you so much. I'm I'm excited to come back.